Let's take a look at the displacement tools on the Greytech Power Pack for Revit. Normally, if you wanted to displace elements inside your Revit project, you would select the element or elements you wish to displace, for example, the wall. We can go in here, pick on the displacement tool. We can then move the path out. We can add the path lines in at the points where we need them to be, like so. And keep going around and exploding the actual view. Once you've exploded all the components out, you'll have now your displacement view. This can take a little while to do this. So we have got a tool on the Greytech Power Pack that will do this for you a little quicker. So here we have a model. If I go to the Power Pack tools, select on the 3D view here, we can do levels of displacement. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see this what happens. If I go in here, select levels of displacement. What it will do, it will take the levels and explode them up, just like so. We can also go in here and explode a 3D view for each level. So what this does, brings this little dialog box on the screen. And it allows me to choose a view which I want to go from. So for example, if I just take this default 3D view, what it's going to do now is create a view for every floor plan with inside the project. So if I just set the offset just slightly above and maybe just slightly below, If I do OK, it's now created multiple views. You're looking at level two here, which is showing the roof plan. But if I went to my project 